everyone, I'm Kayla and this is Bobby and we're with Kinda Roughing It and we just became full-time RVers as of last week. And we wanted to give you guys a tour of what we got. We live with two dogs and three cats and we just wanted to show everybody our setup we got going on. So let's take a look. This is Harvey. He's our Hurricane Harvey survivor rescue we got and he's eight months old and he loves to party. This little girl is Sarah. She's seven years old, lab husky mix. We've had her since she was five weeks. She doesn't like to be hot. She's having a hard time adjusting to the Texas heat. Shut up, Harvey. All right. She's a sweet girl who loves to swim and play ball. And she also loves food a lot. This is Ziggy. He's a Gemini, so we don't really trust him all that much. He likes beer and long walks on the beach. This is Molly. Betty. This is our wonderful kitchen that has everything we need all compacted into one tiny space. We have storage, a microwave that we also use for storage. Um, we keep our bowls and plates and cups in there. We have a stove cooktop that we don't use because we have an invention cookware that's amazing and we use it all the time. So it doesn't heat up the whole house. We have an oven that we've never used, but we have it if we want to use it. I pulled out some of the things that we use the most as uh, our air fryer. It's awesome, it cooks the best food, and our, also our Instant Pot. Um, I also found these neat bowls that stack. It has a strainer, a colander, and our measuring cups. It all stacks into one, which is awesome because when you live in an RV, anything that saves space is ideal. Um, my dish strainer <laughs> is collapsible awesome. Anything that collapses again to space is my kind of thing. Uh, we keep our silverware out here so we have more room for stuff in the drawer. And that's it. Welcome to our bunk house. It's also the kitty house because we don't have kids. So uh, one thing I forgot to mention was our fridge. It's awesome. It's a small fridge. Yep. So we come in here, we have the baby gate, so that way Harvey can't mess with the cats and they have their own space. Uh, we've got a cat in here, this is Betty. She's using her little scratcher. Um, we have the four bunks. We also have the kitty over here taking a nap. He's got his face shielded, he doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> uh, we have their food and water fountain up here where we keep all of their food and dog food and things like that. This little cat tree so that they can get up to the top bunk. Also, uh, we have a storage compartment that we keep open and that's where we put the litter boxes because it goes out to an outside storage where we can clean them and it's very convenient. We love it. And these are the little backpacks we bought for our little kitty bug out bags if we need to evacuate for some emergency or just for putting them in and out of the car. They're awesome, we have three of them. Okay, now I'll show you guys our humongous bathroom. Ta-da! Just kidding, it's pretty small. But it has everything that we need. We've got our toilet, our sink, medicine cabinet, our shower area with the beautiful skylight. We have our tub. Oh, there's a kitty in here. Hi, Betty. We haven't used our tub yet. We've just been using a laundry storage because we've been showering at the showers at the campgrounds. Um, and we also have towel storage. And that's basically it. Show them the rest of our house. 
Yeah! <laughs> okay, moving on from the kitchen, we have another kitty taking her little nap. Hey, Molly. We have our sofa with Harvey taking his nap. It's a jackknife sofa, pulls out to a bed that we use Sarah's bed. Um, we have overhead storage that we've been using for our pantry things. It's been working out great. There's a ton of storage in here. Uh, we have our entertainment center. Um, one thing we really love about this RV in particular is the fact that the TV flips around. And Bobby put another TV on so that he can play his video games and I can watch TV and everybody happy. So we also have ouch, the a built-in stereo DVD system that has speakers inside in the bedroom and outside which is really cool. We have USB outlets for charging our phones, uh, more storage throughout. We have upgraded speakers, a really good sound. And this is our dining room area. It also folds out into a bed if we need it, if we ever have company. Uh, more storage, we've been using his pantry stuff. This is also our office area. More storage under here. And our awesome pineapple light. Yay, pineapples! Our home wouldn't be complete without pictures of our late dog, Cody. Our gorgeous friend Morgan made this for us and we had to make sure that we had room for it. So he is always with us. We love you, Cody. And now I'm gonna turn the camera over to Bobby so he can show you the rest of our house inside and out because he's an expert with all of those things. All right. So this is the bedroom. This is where all the magic happens. Oh yeah. Pick a card. Five of diamonds. <gasps> and this is our bedroom. This is my side. We got closets <laughs> on both sides with mirrors. Storage up here for other clothes. And we also have a Tempur-Pedic uh, mattress stopper, memory foam, because RV mattresses are horrible. And then we also have storage underneath. So this is where we keep stuff when we're uh, going out. Uh, kites, camera equipment, tablets, stuff like that. Alright! I'm making a movie! Dead. So that's the bedroom. Alright, we'll go check outside. And one more thing I forgot to mention about the inside. This screen door, we were really worried about the dogs pawing at it. It's just screen and they love to scratch on doors when they want out. So I'll put some plexiglass over this, and this, and this. But I left a little bit, so if we want to keep it open and get some breeze, we can. So yeah. And this is the outside of the RV. So we have an automatic awning. Uh, we've got outdoor speakers. We have an outdoor kitchen. I'll show you that. I know we've got three dog beds out here, but only two dogs, so I don't know why. This is our outdoor kitchen. It's got a mini fridge that's currently empty. This pulls out. We have a sink, a stove, a new way of cooktop that we love. We use this inside about every day. I really like that. Um, all these windows are frameless. They all open up. The bottom ones are emergency exits. They open up all the way. Uh, we have outdoor speakers. We have an automatic awning. And underneath the awning is a blue LED light strip uh, that you can't see in during the day anyway. We won't even show you that. And on the back, we added a pitch receiver to our square bumper and a cargo crate that holds our uh, cooler and our generator and our gas can. And we keep everything locked up on a cable because you never know 
where we're gonna end up. I can't have somebody steal that. Uh, it doesn't have a ladder. That's the only thing we did want. But, you know, I'll just throw Kayla up there if we gotta go inspect something. So that works out. On this side, we got our slot. Uh, this is our bunkhouse where the cat room is. Just so you know, this is on the back side. And this is where we keep the litter boxes. So they're easy to clean from out here. Easy to get to from inside for the cats. Hoses, uh, uh, cables for hooking up, and tools, camping chairs, fishing poles, all that kind of stuff. All these doors are magnetic latches, so they just stay open. And we don't have automatic levelers, so I use a drill uh, to do that. On the front is where we keep our bikes. We got a bike rack that we added. Uh, since we wanted to have all of our storage on the rear for our cooler and our generator, we still had to bring our bike. So we found this online, which is awesome. It just bolts on to your uh, to your tongue jack. And so it's this, this, and it holds two bikes. We got our propane and our batteries, and we have three 100 watt solar panels on the roof. I will show them to you, but Kayla's too short. And that powers everything in our RV except for our air conditioner and our refrigerator. And that's it. That's it. And this is what we pull everything with. This is my 2012 Ram uh, 1500. It's a half ton, four wheel drive uh, Laramie. It's a crew cab. And our idea was to keep the dogs in the back. So what I did is I built a platform out of wood. Uh, we do have some storage right here that I wanted to be able to keep. This opens up in our storage, which I'm not using it for anything at the moment, but I'm sure I will later. Um, this grid, I just got this, this uh, padding mat I got from Harbor Freight for pretty cheap. And I also put a hinge on this because I have a cooler down there. So that just lifts up. I'll put these little legs on it and I can still get to my cooler. And it's the same thing on the other side. So they've got plenty of room back here. Um, our original plan was to have the cats right around in the back. Oh God, there's dog toys everywhere. So I'll put a pool noodle in between the two sliding glass doors to keep it uh keep hot air from getting in there and i put a fan that fan right there actually and i put it up in the window blowing towards the back and we have a dog crate that we keep the dog uh the cats in if we're traveling in the morning when it's really cool because even in texas no matter you know how much air you try to blow back there it still gets pretty hot around noon one o'clock it's it's too hot so they started riding up front with Kayla. <laughs> so we, most of the time, if we're only traveling for an hour or two, um, all five animals are up front with us. But we thought that the silver top might help reflect some sun and keep it a little cooler back there, but not so much. But it is great for storage while we're parked up. Um, all that stuff out there, tubs and the pet ramp to get the dogs in and out of the truck. Uh, we, I just hooked that up to the truck. The dogs can walk right in. We all put that in the back and keep it locked up. So that's pretty much it.